Hey you guys, it's LC. What's up? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, then welcome. And if you are returning, you already know the drill. Welcome back, family. So in this video, I have been asking you guys on my Instagram and on my YouTube community page for you to drop your starter lock questions. And I thought that this would be a great video to answer your star lock questions while you guys watch me do her starter lock retwist. See, see what I'm trying to do here? See, it's a theme. Um, but anyways, yeah. I would assume that a lot of the questions that you guys are asking me are coming from people that are either just starting their locks or are going to be starting their locks very soon. So I hope that these questions and answers are helpful for you. Um, you guys sent me a lot of questions and I was not able to go through all of them. And I'm actually going to make separate videos answering some of these questions more in depth because I feel like some of these questions need a much longer answer than what I'm going to give here. But the footage that you guys are going to be watching is me actually giving my client her first retwist. Her locks were started by me two months ago. So now that her locks are two months old, she's coming in for her first retwist and she's so excited. I'm so excited. Like if you are locked or if you're thinking about starting your locks, Literally getting your first retwist is like the most exciting thing ever because you just feel like you're finally in the game. So I'm just really happy to do this for her. Shameless plug, if you're ever in the Los Angeles area and you're looking for a loctician to either start your locks or to get a retwist, go ahead and book me. I will put my Instagram across the screen. You can book me on Style Seat. But anyways, I let's just go ahead and get started. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Become a sibling of mine. I'm an only child, so I'm looking, I'm looking for all the siblings. Become a sub-sibling. Join the family. If you are subscribed, I hope that you enjoyed this video. You guys voted that you wanted to see more visual content from me with the voiceover, so I delivered. You are welcome, okay? So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so one of the questions I saw frequently in my inbox is, for thin or fine hair, do I suggest starting with coils or starting with twists? And I thought that this was a really, really great question because I have very fine hair and that was something I kind of struggled with in the beginning of my journey is not knowing how to start. Personally, I'm going to say this with everyone, I really think it's a personal choice. I, either way, if you start your locks with coils or if you start your locks with twists, you're gonna end up with locks at the end of the day. So that's going to happen regardless. I personally feel like with having finer hair, me starting off with twists allowed me to just have a little bit of a fuller look quote unquote, fuller look in the beginning of my starter lock stage. Even though my hair to me was still looking a little crazy, I can't imagine what it would look like if I would have had coils. So I do just feel like at times, twists can be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing in the earlier months of your lock stage. Um, and that's kind of why I ended up going with that because I just felt like my hair is already fine. Let me try to make it look somewhat okay and just do twists. Um, but yeah, you can start your locks Either way, either way is going to get you two locks. Okay, so another frequently asked question that I received was what type of oil did I use in the beginning of my journey to help my hair become thicker, to help it grow? Um, and what oil was I using when I was retwisting my hair? And that oil is called Rosy Locks. I'll put the name right here across the screen. This is actually my brand of oils that I have not dropped out onto the market yet. I've been using that since the beginning of my journey. I'm also using it on my client's hair. My clients love it. Um, I'm using it on her hair right now. She loves it. So this is an oil that was made by me and it was honestly just through my research of trying to find different oils that were meant to stimulate the scalp, help promote hair growth, help promote moisture. Um, and then some different essential oils and carrier oils. Nothing too heavy because I don't like anything too heavy in general. But to get more information about how to get rosy locks, I will be making a separate video which will be introducing the product and you guys will be able to learn more and pre-order and all that good stuff. Next question that I was seeing frequently in my inbox is how often should you moisturize your starter locks? Um, or, you know, how frequently should you be doing it every day? Should you be doing it once a week? Should you be doing it only after washing your hair? If you don't have a dry scalp condition, um, 
Then I would say as far as oiling your actual scalp, I don't really think you need to do that more than once a week, maybe once, twice a week, depending on how many oil, how much oil your hair produces and how dry your actual scalp is. When it comes to moisturizing the shaft of your locks, so that's a different thing. Remember, moisturizing your scalp and moisturizing your locks are two different things. So when it comes to moisturizing your locks, and that's, you know, misting it with some water, adding some type of moisturizing oil such as Real Locks or any type of uh, carrier or moisturizing oil that you like to put on there, I would do that probably once, at least once every three days or so. I know that for some people, um, depending on your hair texture, they might only do it once every four days. I know others, they might do it once a day. You know, they might start their day off by misting their hair in the morning and moisturizing it. That's kind of the great thing about having your own individualized lock journey is you get to kind of test out things throughout the weeks and the months of you having locks to really figure out what type of regimen and schedule works best for you. Okay, so another question that came in regarding starter locks is how often should you retwist? And this is a question that I have people DM me and ask me frequently. And this was something I was trying to, you know, also figure out in the beginning of my lock journey. And I know my clients are always asking me, you know, how frequently should I retwist? I personally, when I start off in the beginning of my journey, I was retwisting once every like six weeks. Um, and that worked out best for me. Now that my hair is a little bit more mature, I kind of push that out more, honestly. I might go more towards eight weeks. Um, I know some people kind of just stick to a every four week rule. I think four weeks is a little too frequent. I think a nice area is like five to seven. Because um, what you don't want to happen is if you're not trying to freeform, if you want to maintain your parting looking super neat and super clean, you don't want your hair to grow out too much to the point where you lose all your parts and now either you or your loctician will have to go in and kind of refix your parts. Which leads me into the next question. How do you have neat parts when you are a self-starter um, or when you're doing your locks yourself? That's a great question. I don't 100% have that answer because when it comes to me starting my own personal locks, I wasn't really like pressed about parts for myself. It is very hard to get perfect neat parts on yourself um, without any help. I don't have the secret sauce on how to do that. I have to get help when it comes to me trying to get perfect parts. I can't do it on my own. Um, but I know that some people, you know, they'll have one mirror in front of them. They'll have another mirror behind them. Make sure you have plenty of light. Get a rat tail clump, a rat tail comb, and just try to straighten up those parts as much as possible. Um, but again, when I started my locks for myself, I wasn't really pressed about that. I didn't even really use a comb that much. Like I did use a comb, but I was really like using my nail to just like part out little sections of my hair and just trying to follow somewhat of a brick pattern. And that works for me personally. Okay, next question. Should you style your hair in the starter lock phase? Or I'm assuming, you know, what some people want to know is should you just wear your hair down and out or is it okay to style it when it's in the starter lock stage? And the answer is it's okay to have it in certain styles um, in the starter lock stage. A lot of people might get like barrel braids, um, something very simple, nothing that has too much tension um, and nothing that is going to shift the shapes of your locks too much. And you don't want to keep your hair in that style um, for weeks and weeks on end. Now, personally speaking, when I did my own locks and you know my client here, I think that the best option is just to wear them down because it helps prevent you from having any like um, bends or cranks in your locks or them kind of forming into a shape that's not the shape that you want. How to prevent product Build up. This was a question I got a lot as well. And when it comes to product buildup, I just want to be really clear on this because some people um, think that, you know, if I don't use any gels and if I don't use any waxes and if I just use oil in my hair, I won't have any buildup. And I just want to make it really clear, you guys, that is actually not true. Now, what is true that if you were to use gels and waxes, you would have a significantly larger amount of buildup in your lock. And since this video is getting kind of long, I just want to finish it on this question because I thought it was a great question. Is there anything I do differently with my own locks if I can go back in time? And I really was trying to like sit and think like, is there anything I would do differently about my locks? And I just feel like the only 
thing that I probably would do differently if I would have wore my scarf more often. Outside of that, um, no, you know, my, my journey was a very personal journey and that's kind of why I'm so honored when other people allow me to start their lock journey because I really do respect how personal this is of a journey and just um, what it means to kind of ask someone to start that for you. So um, thumbs up if you enjoy her retwist, thumbs up if these answers were helpful um, and comment below if you have more lock or starter lock questions, put them in the comments so I can make another video like this and I can answer more questions. But so yeah, thank you so much for watching family. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Don't forget to hit that like button and turn on your notifications. I'm trying to have a video every Sunday for you guys. You guys know as I'm going through um, a really serious family emergency, which has kind of thrown off my whole posting schedule. But hopefully I can have another video for you guys next Sunday. And I look forward to talking to you guys. And yeah, we will chat it up again, family. Okay, have a great rest of your day. Bye, you guys.